Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have a scrapbooking process video for you. And I decided I wanted to, well actually, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I decided to get out my watercolor paintbrush. And I'm just using the fine one, but in retrospect I should have used like a medium tip. So I decided to get my um, Prima watercolor out, and this is the Pastel Dreams one. And I'm just kind of scribbling all over the paper. Now I'm using the Felicity Jane white cardstock because it's a smooth cardstock and I didn't know what I wanted to do but I just felt like getting messy and for me this is messy. <laughs> Don't laugh. So I decided to use three different kinds of colors and I'm just doing them about two inches apart or the width of about two inches and I'm just kind of as my kids would call it scribble scrabbling and I decided to use like a peach color a pink color and this um, green like mint color and I'm just using the Felicity Jane box as my scratch paper so that I don't get anything onto my mat now I apologize that I'm out of screen here but I'm just kind of scribble scrabbling all over the paper and I'm just making sure no two colors are next to each other now this is a great way if you're in a rut to just start painting something like this because you know you're going to be able to use this for something um, later on. So I just kind of painted this color, these colors on there, not knowing what I was going to use it for, but I decided to make it so that it was all around the outer edges. And I'm not being um, specific with like where the color ends, I'm just kind of scribbling it all over the place and just leaving the middle portion just blank. Now after I do all of this, I set this aside to dry and just so you know that sat there for a little while before I decided how I was going to use it. So go ahead and get some scratch paper out and just get your fingers dirty and just do some painting. So what I ended up deciding to do after a while was I was going to photo, um, Photoshop, no, scrapbook this paper this picture of my mom and I. Now ever since my mom passed away I've been scrapbooking a lot more pictures of us and this doesn't necessarily have a story to tell. All I wanted to do was get a picture of us together and so I've been going through my photos and looking for some pictures. Now I'm taking this Ranger opaque white me mixed medium and I'll have all of the items linked down below and I'm using a spatula with this chicken wire kind of a stencil I don't know if this stencil is available. If not, just use any kind of stencil and I'm covering the white area from my painting as well as some of the border of the other ones. If I can find this stencil, I'll link it down below. Otherwise, I'll link something that's similar. So I let that dry and then I'm while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go ahead and back and do some layers of this photo. So for this um, layout. I'm using Felicity Jane birthday kit. I think this is called the Tori kit. I'm using the One Canoe Two date stamp and I am um, just making sure I get the appropriate date on the date stamp, roller date stamp. Actually I think I end up using, yeah, the One Canoe Two. And then I'm going to start layering my photo. Now I'm using my ATG gun and I'm going to back this photo with the gold and uh, or mustard yellow scallop paper and I'm going to use that as a full border across and I'm using my Caterpillar Pro which is the best paper trimmer that I've ever used and I've used many in my 25 years of um, scrapbooking. Then I'm using the chevron paper to layer another piece and then I'm going to put two more pieces this green polka dot and also a black and white floral and I don't like to have any of my edges meeting next to each other so they're all just a little bit off base. Now I don't want these um, layers to look perfect because nothing is perfect so just a little bit off balance is what I want and it makes it look um, homemade which it is and I like that look. look. So when I have scraps of paper this is really easy to do because then I don't measure or anything like that. I'm looking at the alphas that came with this kit and trying to decide if I'm going to put a title on there and I end up not putting a title because it's just a picture of my mom and I um, after our family got together right before I left. Now I'm going through the embellishment kits or the embellishments that came with this kit and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to use and I'm keeping it pretty simple because I did paint all around the periphery of the cardstock. So I decide I'm going to do the date and I'm going to use black stays on because this 
label is glossy, so I need to use Stazon ink for it to dry and not smear all over the place. And I'm going to adhere that to the top left of the photo. But I decide what else I'm going to put on, and I'm putting this ticket stub that has a heart on there. And I'm going to use my ATG gun to just adhere that to the bottom right hand corner of the photo. Now you'll notice that I'm covering the photo, but not all of the mustard yellow um, piece. And as for the label, um, I'm putting that over the photo, but you can still see the mustard on the top. I just like it a little bit off so that it nothing look, is too perfectly aligned. Now after I do that, I'm waiting to see if my um, cardstock is dry. I decide I'm going to use this black and white polka dot label, so I'm taking my crochet thread, I'm trying to find the end there, and I'm just going to tie that onto the label or the tag I should say, not the label. And I'm going to adhere that behind the yellow polka dot, but on top of the green polka dot paper, or the yellow scallop paper and the green polka dot paper. And I'm going to have that hang just like that. And because the um, mixed medium is not completely dried yet, and I want it to stick for a long time, I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive to adhere the, my layers and photo to the cardstock. Now, if I were to just use an ATG gun, it may not stick completely, and it has a chance of falling off in the future. Now, I want to use this Tory Girl, so I'm going to put um, some Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive to the bottom right-hand corner because I'm going to do embellishment to the top left, top right, and bottom right of the photo. And I want the bottom to be a little heavier in weight, so I put the girl there. And now I'm going to only put two pieces of embellishment. So I'm putting the flower to the three areas of embellishment, and the bottom right-hand corner, I'm only doing one small flower. And the two top ones, I'm doing two bigger flowers. Now remember that because the, I did the paint all around, I don't need to have big embellishment clusters because it's already busy enough. So after I do that, I look at my um, layout and I decide to call it done. This is a picture of my mom and I, and I encourage you, if you are so blessed to have parents who are still alive, don't forget to get in the pictures. I know I have a ton of pictures of my parents with my kids, but not enough of me with them. So that's just my PSA. Don't forget to get in the pictures with your parents. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend who you think might enjoy these types of process videos, and I'll see you next time.